Hey guys, what's up? The man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you Weird Weapon Wednesday, episode number 23. And for this episode, we're going to be using the M60 with the red dot sight. Now, you guys might be saying, hey, Quad, that gun really isn't that weird, but compared to the ACR with suppressor and the MP7 with suppressor, it's a pretty weird gun. But of course, it is Weird Weapon Wednesday, so I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of tips for this gun. Now, the main tip is to use this damage from this gun to your advantage. This gun is a two-hit kill anywhere on the body, whether it be in the feet, whether it be in the head. You're going to shoot two bullets, and you're going to kill the enemy. Now, some tips for this gun are the perks. Perks are going to matter a ton, and I mean a ton. Quick Draw Pro is practically mandatory with this gun if you're looking to do well, because without Quick Draw, the aim down sight time is extremely slow. So that is going to make a huge difference in how well you're going to do overall. And Stalker Pro, again, practically almost mandatory. You're going to need to aim down sight around corners, which is a tip I highly suggest to everybody. Be able to be ready before your enemy has already got their sights on you. Now, Specialist, like I said, we're going to be talking about the kill streaks. Kill streaks don't matter as much as they normally would on other guns, but for this gun, it's going to matter a little bit. Now, I do end up pulling off the 6v6 Team Deathmatch MOAB first try which it was a pretty big feat because I hasn't I haven't used this M60 in quite some time so I was really happy to be able to get a gameplay the first try I went for and it actually ended up being a Moab very very exciting now this gun iron sights are horrible I did not like them one bit and that's why I slapped on the red dot the red dot makes a big difference so you can get your precision aim and I know you guys out there have some pretty good aim so you're gonna want the sights to be the best they possibly can and I find the red dot to do that for me now, without the red dot sight and with the red dot sight, it still has a ton, a ton of kick. Even if you are using the grip, it still has some kick, but I do not suggest using kick and grip at the same time. They kind of neutralize each other out. I'd say grip is a little bit more effective than the kick proficiency, but kick is still going to make a big difference because you're probably going to want to be using the red dot sight with the kick proficiency so you can get your precision aim on. Now, don't always use kick and grip together. Like I said, it cancels each other out. But secondaries. Now, I always usually talk about secondaries with this gun. Like I said, I'm still going to talk about them. But the MP9 with suppressor is a good old trusty secondary. You're going to really need to use that on most any type of gun you're going to be using. It's going to make a big difference, except on this gun. This gun or any LMG has a 100 round magazine. So you're not going to be able to switch to your secondary a lot because you're going to be want to using your primary as much as you possibly can because this gun has 100 rounds. I know it may take a little bit too long to reload, but that's why you got specialist on and that's why you have sleight of hand pro. Sleight of hand pro also helps you be able to switch weapons. I know it's kind of hypocritical to say that but it, it's the truth guys I can't switch up the perks and what the pro versions of them do so I hope you guys can go out and do just as well as I did with this gun pull off the M60 MOAB very very happy with it this gameplay was pretty entertaining in my opinion a lot of fun to get but you guys can like my Facebook page you guys can follow me on Twitter if you guys like this episode you can definitely leave a like down below that always helps you can subscribe to see more right there I pull off the Moab it was a lot of fun, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Quad MFT, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching this video, and on the left, you'll be able to click on my most recent Weird Weapon Wednesday, a series that I have going on every single Wednesday, and on the right, you'll be able to click on a mystery video, which is a randomized video that of the week I have chosen, so if you guys like this video, you'll definitely want to be clicking on that. It's been Quad MFT, and I'll see you guys next time.